All right, class. This is going to be quickie because I really don't care. But it was like a few years ago back in um, 2021. I think it started in June, July, where I started noticing there was something wrong with the moon. Then I found out that like the, the baby witches of TikTok were fucking with the moon. I was like, please don't fuck with the moon. Now I understand why, because like, and it took me a minute to, like, it's just been like, why does the moon keep fucking me up? Like, recently the moon looks normal. The moon looks normal. Like, the past, like, six months. Um, but during that time frame, it did not look normal. And you want to know why? Something I forgot. Ta-da-ba! I'm not speaking anything. It's just gibberish. But it sounded cute. What you doing, big green? My this is my tarot board, which I think I made in, like, 2019. Maybe at the latest 2018. I don't know. It, it was after the throes of losing my child. My daughter. My daughter! Um, very sad. Very sad. Anyway, this tarot board has faces of the moon, but this is actually more... And I used it for tarot, but this is more of an instructional book on when and what spells the cast on the phases of the moon because me as a practitioner i've actually been in covens i've been in two and a half don't ask about the half part because some things some stories are just better left untold and some people just don't deserve to be remembered Especially one bitch, but that's a side point. That's beside the point. This is an instructional thing. Isolation, banishment, construction, harvest. Don't worry about the gibbous moves. Those are your days off. Those are your days off. It doesn't. If it doesn't look like any of the things in the corner, you don't do shit. Now, with my studies growing up over the years, because I've been doing this since I was like sixteen or seventeen years old, I've just been fucking with shit. I like to fuck around and find out. You gotta say I'm adventurous. A risk taker. Inspiring. Now, as I was saying before, with this kind of shit, right? This is absolutely vital. Because what I have learned over the years, be in what's called Terror Land, which is really just like people who are crazier than me. Or we're all equally we're all equally insane, and that's fine. But there are just some people who make me sit there and wonder, like, where are you learning this magical shit from? Who taught you this? How are you all see, keep saying that like Jesus or whoever he, God is looking out for you? Yet people are still coming out for you. It'd be different if you were like me, or it's just like I'll call on the Lord when absolutely necessary. But I know He gave me the strength to do shit on my own. If I can't do it on my own, I know He didn't give it to me, and I didn't let Him fuck with it. Let me go get my dad since you want to have that fucking attitude with me. Says you want to yell at my. You know one of those things. I'm gonna go get my dad if you keep talking to me. <laughs> but I grab my brothers, my uncles, my nephews, anybody with testosterone in my family, my father would grab and just be like, Come here. What did you do to my child? You know, because that's how I see it anyway. That's how I go with it, but that's my own little conspiracy thing. With the moon phases. Most people, from what I've learned within the tarot land and the spiritual community, seem to believe that you always cast. Wait, no. On a full moon. On a full moon. On a, on a full moon. I have had this board for th three, maybe four years. And in the first couple years, people could see it because I always used to do my um, videos cast down on the thing because I preferred people look at the cards rather than me. And now y'all just get to see my face all the fucking time. I'm far. I'm sorry for that. You'll be alright. But for some reason, people always think that it's smarter to cast on the full moon. And, I, and the only thing I want to ask you is, um, when your car is full, when your tank is full, do you stop at a gas station and add more fuel? You know what's gonna happen if you put more uh, gas in your car after it's already full? It's gonna spill out. It might even get on your shoes. It might even trickle on your pants if you're not careful. And then you're gonna get in your car and think that everything is okay, but you're a smoker. You smell like gas, and you're just... Now, it's not the gasoline that catches on fire. It's the fumes, the actual odor. And it's not the flame. 
It's a spark. It's a spark. The ember. I'm gonna take that child safety thing off because that's actually. Where's my goddamn knife? Hmm. I don't see. I'm gonna take the safety off because it's just fucking with my fingers now. I ain't using this for a while anyway. So it's like, what? A, that's not gonna fit. That's too fat. Wow, that's really fat. Oh. God, this thing. This is not a switchblade. This is a lie right here. This is a lie right here. And I was so upset, but it still works. Ooh, this is actually pretty sharp. I should use this at some point, but it's so ugly. There we go. Now we can see. You see this? I'm not trying to hit the thing, but you can see the flint. You see that spark? That's what lights gasoline up. It's the spark, not the flame. The spark from the flint being... Flint? I don't fucking know what the word... You know what I'm talking about, though. I know I'm dumb, but y'all know what the fuck it is I'm talking about. Anyway. Why would you do that when your car is full? Why would you put more gas in your car when the car is full? And then, like, light a cigarette when you're in that car? <laughs> Smelling all like gas and shit. You know how dangerous that is? Most people don't realize that. A lot of people who are in the tarot land community and spiritual community seems to think that, like, when people are actually casting spells, they're doing it on the full moon, right? Which, if that's the case, that would be a horrible fucking mistake. The, this is the appropriate cycle for using moon magic, right? We have isolation. This is when you're in the dark. This is when you are by the self. And I do mean the self. There is a plethora, if not a whole bunch of human beings who have an issue with being alone and by themselves. I'm not sure why. I don't know why people don't like being on the road. Maybe they were just raised to always constantly have someone around them and it just feels weird not having another voice to talk to. I was raised in the house where, like, Thanksgiving dinner, we all ate in our own room. Because, like, the table was always covered with, like, clothes for laundry and shit. Um, so we all ate in our own rooms. But we would scream out at each other and be like, are you still there? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. And it, I don't know. Maybe this is a black thing or whatever. But it's like, this is the point in time where you should be okay with being by yourself. This is a point in time where you should be okay with, like, sitting there meditating, um, drawing up ideas, going over things, analyzing, discernment, um, speaking with the Lord, if you will, if that's where you're going with, um, anything. With things that you do on your own. How you, are, are you the beast you worship? Or is that, or is that type of beast that God that you want to feed yourself into, um, dependent on the thrives and throes of those who absorb and watch you and take your bullshit for the value you put on its face? Because well, I don't know, a lot of people are just like, oh. like over the years, I've actually met a plethora of people who um, they come off like this is me personally, and it's my own personal bias. So take this for the greatest salt. So I might be coming off as a little bit like fucked up. But that's your fault for taking it personal, right? There are a lot of people who I've met in my life who appear to be very strong individuals, but the minute that they are left by themselves, they crumble because they never once attempted to try to get to know themselves, and they really don't like who they are. That's why they surround themselves around people. That's why they wear a mask constantly. A lot of people are actually scared to be by themselves, which is why when I'm showing this off, the isolation... They wouldn't think that maybe I should be by myself and think and, and like actually take the time to um, decide what it is I want to do during this moon cycle. What the fuck off? The fuck, the, the, the fuck off? Like, fuck, 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 fuck off? Like a bird. Like a, like a rooster. Early in the morning, he's like, the fuck off? Like, the, 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 the hollering for anybody to hear because Lord knows they, don't, they need the acknowledgement that they made some goddamn noise instead of just keeping that shit to themselves. I'm just happy nobody has a rooster here. I'd be so mad. I, I, I don't know what it is, but every time I hear, if I've been somewhere and I do hear a rooster, I'm up automatically. It's just like, God damn. Can I sleep in without you screaming for once? I would be so, uh. Like, roosters are cool because they do make good alarm clocks, but at the same time, it's just like, sometimes I'm just a bit. There's no reason for me to be up right now. 
So um, isolation should be one of those things where you take the time to meditate, to think, um, to develop an idea. Uh, the new moon is a really good time to sit there and collect your thoughts and actually like develop what it is that you should be doing. That's a good time to, it's, to congregate with your spirits and be like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. But it's something. The given moons are your off days. Those are your days off. That's those are the times you can see how this could potentially grow and then what it grows into. Then we get to banishment. What do you have to sacrifice? And when I'm saying sacrifice, I'm not doing the whole YouTube thing where sacrifice automatically means death or some shit. Or on a live and so YouTube doesn't get on my ass, right? It is more than that. Sacrifice is a goddamn trade, always and forever. Um, you want that extra money? That's fine, but you better go get work that overtime or put in an application for more jobs or do something that's a, a decent hustle. Don't be sitting here casting mag magical money spells and then thinking, like, it, uh, magic's bullshit because you didn't get nothing. Or worse, wonder why your money's dwindling down because you're spending it before you even get it. Mm-hmm. Over here, instruction. You've already meditated on what did you need. You know what you need to get rid of or what you need to work into. Now we put the work in. Now we put in the blueprint. Now we do the actual work for it. We've done all this time to think about it. We've done all this time to develop what will be gotten rid of, what will be granted, what will be sacrificed. Even an offering is a form of banishment at this point. Or just being like, fuck this shit. I don't have to put up with it. That's a form of banishment too. Now we're constructing something. Now we're going to be working on the building. Now we develop... The work, the spell, everything. You normally cast your magic between the crescent moon and the half moon. You cast your magic on the crescent moon or the half moon. Because that's when you're actually supposed to be doing that work. Figure out what you get rid of. Do the work. Do the work, cast the spell, keep it going, put the energy... Faith without works is dead faith, after all. And then we come to the final part. Our, uh, act. This is showing me the actual thing, so, like, everything is, like... It's not backwards, but, like... My right hand, I'm looking it out on the left side, and that's what's fucking me up. But now we have the harvest. The end results of what you get. For some reason, people are casting on the full moon. Even though the tank is already full. Oh, I need gas. Let me think of where I could drive to. I have to sacrifice some gas to get to the gas station. Now I'm at the gas station. I'm going to pump this gas. My tank is full. That's what this is for. For anybody who doesn't understand that. This is what that is for. You do not cast a spell on the full moon. Because that doesn't make sense. If there are people casting on the full moon, that's their fucking problem. And the thing is, is like, if you get comfortable in the cycle where you're casting magic on the full moon, you can't cast it between these two parts anymore. It's closed off to you. Whether you know that or not. You, like, you exercised your right to dilly-dally, shilly-shally, and fuck off, and you just wanted to go straight to the harvest to get what you needed to get, but you didn't do any of the work here and you sure as fuck didn't sacrifice anything anywhere before that. You decided to do it all at the gas station. Just ru You're just running your engine just uh, 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 while, while pumping your gas, which to me is the weirdest fucking shit I've ever seen people do. Like, I found out people will literally leave their car on while getting gas. And I didn't know people did that. I did, like, I did not know people leave their car running while getting gas. Which is, like, weird. This is, like, when you want to turn the engine off, to conserve what you have before putting it in so you get an accurate, um, amount of gas. Like, if you're burning it off while you're fucking, like, filling it up. Like, if, like if you're trying to fill a bucket full of water and there's a goddamn hole in it, like, like how full is that bucket going to be? That, like, that's never made sense to me. Turn the fucking engine off and put the gas in. 
Like your gas know, like your tank knows how much it can take with it having to be on. Like I, I've never, I just, I, 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 I always thought that was dangerous as fuck personally myself. Cause this is like, why would you want to, why would you want the thing that's con that's combustible to be on while you're filling it up with a thing that it catches on fire? That just always fucked me up a little bit. That's all. That's all. So that's the one thing I've always, I've always thought was weird. It's just like, why, why do people do that? Like, and I've heard people say that the like motherfuckers cast on the on the full moon, which would make them. Not witches, but muggles, because most witches already know not to do that, because that's the time of harvest. You know, harvest moon, when the moon is full, it's like people don't understand, like, your shit's already full. Why are you trying to put shit into it? It goes on the same thing as what, like, the magical intolerance that I talked about. You can only cast magic on someone so many times before you already met that quota. And no matter who you send or what it is, your magic, your energy is always going to be linked to whoever you send to somebody. So it's automatic tolerance to that shit. Even if they do do something, eventually that energy, it, it, it's going to be like, wait, this is the same, like, imprinting shit. This is the same motherfucking energy. Like, the magic is going to know exactly what it is. It'd be like, no, no, no. We'll send a little bit, but uh, only a little bit has been burnt out the fucking tank. This is still goddamn full. What are you trying to fulfill here, motherfucker? What are you trying to fulfill? And then when you actually go backwards, because people like showing the cycles on the moon, like, oh, this is full, and then it's like waning back to it. No, 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 no. We're going backwards in some bitch, because now that the harvest is here, we're going to see what's been constructed. If we did the, the construction in the dark, and in the light, we could see, yeah, you wanted that extra money, but you never got authorization to have overtime. Oh, you tried to ruin this person's career or their job. And yet, your boss has noticed that you spend a lot of time watching a motherfucker instead of doing your own job. And then you're up here demanding a fucking raise. You're sitting here making fun of people at the gym, and yet, like, we all know your ass is fake, man. And why are you wearing those clothes? No one wants to see them when they're trying to work out. How are you going to get mad at motherfuckers for not wanting to look at you? That's an even better question. Like, who wants to look at that shit? All right? That shit comes out in the light, and then we get to the banishment. That little sliver. What was it that was actually sacrificed, and what does that little sliver represent to you? Because the sacrifice is in the dark. What you decided to get rid of in order to get what you wanted is in the dark. What comes out in this little crescent, the actual light, that slice, is all people need to see. And that's the main thing most people see. Most people can tell that there's something wrong with you. Like... Um, most people could tell that there that something is up. It's like a person who hasn't changed or hasn't like done something with themselves, you know. Um, it's one thing to be stable. I have the same house, you know. Like I've been here um, going on like two years now. Come September, I changed my life around like three years ago for the better i i've actually like uh, like done a lot i've actually accomplished a lot of shit that i didn't think i was going to accomplish and i did it on my own being by myself and learning like hey you, you, this is if this is how you react to this shit bitch maybe you should shut the fuck up because you, you're out of control you're out of control but with people and let's say it's people who can't be alone so i this with some people not all of them but i definitely noticed it with some people there are people out there who need people in their life because they can't stand being alone. And what happens sometimes is because they never give themselves a chance to be alone, they never truly learn their talents or their graces, nor do they understand that like when you surround yourself with people, their influence can affect you. It's like Knights of the Old Republic too. Um, if you go to the dark side, you'll notice your group of friends go with you. But if you go to the light side, you'll notice everyone's a lot prettier. I don't know why, considering usually beauty is a good mask for death. But that's beside the point for me. Um, and sometimes those people can influence you to be held back. Because you're worried about what they're going to think about you. How they're going to take you and whatever things that people who give a fuck about what other people think. You know, Because most people who can't be alone, all they care about is what other people think of them. They don't give a fuck about themselves enough to like, think, maybe these people are fucking stupid. Maybe I should learn how to be by myself because ever since I be around these folk, life went to shit. Um, you know, it's it's like someone claiming that like they're accomplished, they can do something, or like 
their setting of, like, like, I don't know, it, it, like, it would be like my ex in Grafton still being in the fucking house four years fucking later. Which I hope is not the case, because it's like, I really don't want to know. <laughs> like, I really hope that they made it, I, I would hope so, because then that, that's, that's definitely confirmation, but that's beside the point. Um, being stuck somewhere, not being able to get out of it, because you kind of set up yourself up that way, you know, like, you made your choices, this is what you've done, and you have to sit there and reflect back on whatever it is, and the banishment will show you what it is that you accepted in response to the sacrifice. When you took the hours of overtime, did you realize that that's dipping into the entire company's, uh, hour reservoir and you took hours from someone else so someone else has to get their hours cut because you decided to take more everyone's um doing whatever to get whatever like yeah like it's kind of unfair that people who are good workers are getting laid off yet you're the one who sucked the boss's dick and you don't do any work at all that's going to be that's going to be seen it's really weird how you're sitting here saying that like this person's evil and they did all this shit but you're the one whose life is falling apart. You're the one who seems like you have issues. You're the one who seems like you explode when someone realizes um, you're cheating on them. And instead of responding like a normal person, you want to go and yell and scream. Yeah, I know there are people who will sit there and be like, yeah, if someone accused me of something, I'd be angry too. Um, but not everybody responds like that. Most people will, who will have accusations against them, they don't get mad. They're more confused. And then they'll explain, no, that's, no, 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 no. And then they get mad. They don't automatically show anger. Like, let me tell you something. Like, if a girl's cheating on you and you confront her about it, she's going to scream, she's going to cry, and she's going to lie to your face, and she's going to find any way to argue it. And all you do is sit there and chug and realize that this bitch is trash. This bitch is trash, but you chose her, so you're going to have to deal with that shit. That's the consequences of your choices. Until you get away from that fucking skank, you're stuck with it. And Lord forbid if you stay stuck with something like that, you know, Lord forbid you're stuck with somebody who you, you've heard stories about doing like crazy shit with and then act surprised when they do that crazy shit with you. Thank you, phone. That was a lot. That was a lot. Ooh. Oh my God. I have to call her. What are you starting to dislike as you get older? This is fucking plan and everyone's bullshit. That's what it is. You know, everyone's gonna be able to see what it is you did, what uh, what was banished, and what you got by the crescent, by the next crescent moon. That's just a given. It's an absolute given. Like there's no way you can hide it. Like like you did, like yeah, you constructed everything in the dark, but then they, uh, your construction, all your plans came to light, and now even though you had all this shit in the background, uh, I can see, I can see. And then it's the isolation stage again, where you are once again given the opportunity to be by yourself, to reflect, to meditate, to speak to whatever fucking god you want to, or tree leaf. I, I don't know. Go talk to a tree. Men are going to talk to trees. I talk to my trees. And honestly, it's a little bit more therapeutic than talking to, like, some women, honestly. I, I, like, I'm sorry, I'm not... I'm totally on the drizzle, drizzle side. You men have your soft guy era because that's what you deserve. I have never been, like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've just never been one of them go along, get along gang kind of girls. Mm -mm. No, no, I no, 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 many a time. No, absolutely not. I'll go with, like, what makes sense. But I ain't going to be on your side just because you're a woman. That, that's stupid. I don't know who you are. You might try to fuck my boyfriend. <laughs> like, if I'm helping you, you know what I mean? It's just like, why would I trust you just because you're a woman? Like, no. I know how I lie. Why would I trust you? But it's all in jest. What I'm really saying is, is like, once you get back to the isolation stage, that's when you get to reflect on all the shit that went down before you start the whole new cycle again. You get all the time, they'll sit there and be like, how could this work? How could that work? And these are the times to do it. This is part of the witch time. You have to know which time to do which, and, not, and usually witches know how to do that. Witches such as myself. Witches who are actually solidary and had to spend time with themselves and learn what who the fuck we are in comparison to what everybody else thinks we are. You know, like if someone's afraid of me, I'm going to assume that there's something wrong with them 
They're smart to know they're afraid of me, but what reason do you have to be afraid? You know, what, what like, like, why, why are you afraid? Like, like, for example, right, I have a friend of mine who was working or whatever, and, like, is at my job, right? We've been cold for years. And he was getting the trash, and, like, another coworker of mine and her neighbor, the, like, they were talking, and her neighbor decides to start putting hands on the TV, like, I'll just do your job for you since you're going to do it the way I want you, and start grabbing shit all, literally put her arms around this dude and start grabbing shit. He had the waves arms and be like, no! We're still get off of me. Second off, you can't do that because I'll be fired. This is my job, man. And she goes and reported him to the company and then came back with her husband looking for a fight. And this other coworker of mine had reported his name and said that he had actually um, put hands on this woman. But luckily, the camera was right there showing that, uh, no, this woman actually assaulted this guy as he was doing his job. This coworker, for some reason, expected everyone who was a woman um, to be on her side, and she's learning, no, absolutely not. Uh, it was a weird thing, and, like, I guess she expected me to be along with it. And I was just like, dude, I am not into watching somebody, like, get their job taken from them just so you could be, like, no, like, I don't know. And then they're doing this weird thing, right? Where... They be like and, and like just imagine if um if I like because like really it doesn't affect me but like just imagine if, if I, like if like this person just wanted to be like all nitpicky they decided to pick on me right they decide oh well since I she didn't go along with it since Sly isn't going along with it I'm gonna sit here and act like I'm so sad I thought we were close I can't believe they're doing this to me they should understand me meanwhile I'm just over here minding my own business not even knowing what the fuck a motherfucker saying. Not even knowing that someone is running around um, with my name in their mouth, talking to everyone, being like, I thought that they cared, and I thought this, and I thought that. Meanwhile, everyone else is talking to me, and they're just like... She seems fun. This is fun. Worse, if um, this person were to be doing that shit to me, it'd be worse if people came to approach me about the subject, or I start going around asking questions... Only to hear that this person has pretty much premeditatedly made it seem like I mean, I would be in the wrong because I wouldn't take their sign. It's just one of those things, right? Not that this has happened, but it's just an example if they used me. Because they're technically doing it to somebody else. Uh, and then, like, me and another chick are nipping in the bud like, no. That's, that's not how it works. No, no, no. That's not how it works. But if they were trying to do that shit to me, I'd be the person to be like, oh, let me go run around and ask people what the fuck they're saying. Since they're too much of a coward-ass bitch pants to, like, actually say some shit to my goddamn face. That right there comes from a form of isolation. I'm absolutely 100% cool with confrontation. Because I don't like hidden shit. Like, if I gotta come up and ask you what the fuck it is, and you're scared of me. Or just in general. Or if, you're, if someone's scared of you when you're coming to look for answers after they go run their mouth, that's why they would be scared of you. They'll go into isolation. That isolation is also for them to hide. They want to hide. They want to hide away. They do not want to be around when it's discovered what the fuck they did. They don't want to answer for it. They want to stay in the dark. But unfortunately, the moon has phases and the, the light from the sun hits the moon. So you're still using sunlight. It's just d diluted. It, it's just mixed with a little bit of water. It's it. It's it. There's a filter over it, and it ain't got nothing to do with fucking Instagram, right? People who usually do horrible stuff, and if they're casting on the full moon, God bless them. Bless their heart. They won't want to come out. They don't want people to know, but slowly but surely, everything starts to come out. They'll try to sneak around. They'll start doing the whole, like, flying elephant monkey or whatever the fuck it is. Flying pigs, flying monkeys, whatever. They'll start doing that shit, and then they're shitting on cars like birds. Like, <laughs> What you doing, big granny? Like, you know, shit like that. And it's insane. Because they will continue to do what they do behind the scenes, not realizing everybody can see. Even if it goes completely dark and it's back in isolation, they're just going to go isolate in whatever fucking place that they is. They try to come back and probably do something different. But they won't do anything different. They'll just go through the rest of the moon phases and then just cast directly on the fucking full moon. 
Not realizing there is a, the whole time and place for all shit. Most people don't know that because they never really studied magic enough. Or actually talk to people who actually had a method, a system. Not rules, but regulations, policies, procedures, protocols, parlays, all, treaties, all that shit. There's a whole slew of stuff you gotta do in magic that has nothing to do with rules, but everything to do with how the system operates. And most people do not know that. Most people aren't even educated enough. And when I say, ed and I say educated loosely, because Lord knows when they took all, thank you, from when they took a lot of the occult books out in 92. Mm. Mm. Some of those books aren't even in print anymore, unfortunately. God bless them. But it's all good. It's all good. But for, um,. Anybody who is actually here to understand the moon phases, each moon phase represents what you should be doing in order to construct your spell. Like, you, like if you're going to do a spell, it's supposed to take you an entire month to prepare for. From the first new moon all the way to the full moon, and then the results come out as it's going back to um, the new moon again. A, a spell takes an entire month, a whole menstrual cycle, to be accomplished. It takes a lot of fucking time. You can't just, like, go gather everything together and then cast it on the full moon. That should be the last time. That that should not be the time you're casting magic. It needs to be between the crescent moon and the half moon. That's when you should be casting the spells, because those are the appropriate times. It's half, if not more than half. Half, if not less than half. It, it, you cannot have it full. You cannot have fucking empty. There's gotta be something in there that you're developing in there in order to for the full moon. Like, like, that, like the crescent moon, yeah, cool, but if you could paint it all in, you'll make a full moon. You're adding more into it. Why are you trying to repaint the moon over again after it's already colored the fuck in? Stop it. You're wasting goddamn paint. You're wasting goddamn crayons. Stop. 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 My shit even on... Yeah, it is. I, I, I don't know why it's down there, but okay. Um, but that's something to, to really pay attention to. And most people don't know this, which is why I'm saying it right now. And if people really are using the, fa the just the full moon and casting magic on the full moon, let them. Let them. Because I'll tell you right now, in the past two years, I don't know what it is about the vibe of the moon. And it's just recently in the last six months coming back to normal. From what I'm understanding with Constellating, that was like we just entered... A 13 to 20 year new cycle. We just entered that shit. So whatever you were doing in the previous cycle, stick to that shit. Because trying to switch to something completely different is not going to help you. Like Trying to use the system as I showed you now, not I won't say it's the proper way, but it is a way. Because like, it's a good way. Like You can set up your own system for the moon phases, but God, for fuck's sakes, don't cast on the goddamn full moon, you dumbass. It's already full of other people's wishes. And now you want to fit anymore and see if the balloon blows up. You dumb fuck. You, you dumb fuck. That's what I'm trying to say. If you've been casting magic on the full moon, or, or there are people casting magic on the full moon, that's on them because they cannot use any form of the moon to do magic at this point on. They, it, it, if they're going to do moon magic, it has to be on the full moon. At this point, if people are going to use either the crescent or the half moon, you better have either never fucked with the moon before, or you already had a pattern set up to use a full moon cycle. That's why it's called a goddamn fuck. You have to have the whole circle before you have to, you're going in a god throw that ass in a circle not don't start throwing it once like no 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 you take what i'm saying with a grain of salt you don't have to believe me in fact you don't have to listen to me at all perfectly fine perfectly fine i'm not even mad about it not at all but I just figured I, it'd be helpful to at least, like, explain some shit. Because it's just, like, I hear people say, like, like cast it on the full moon all the time. And I'm just like, what? But then again, I wouldn't be someone who p would pick that up anybody. Wait, what? What What did that mean, bitch? And, and pick up anybody. Um, pick up anyway, I'm trying to say. I don't even know what the fuck that was. Um, and it's, that's not something I would pick up anyway because I don't use the moon for my magic. I use the sun. Because I want everyone to see what the fuck I did. You're going to see exactly what I did. And I can do it every fucking day. Because it's always the fuck out. The sun's always out. It ain't half nothing. 
It ain't gibbous. It ain't, it, it, it's always there. Bright as hell. Like the glorious morning star it is. Never have to worry about it being in the wrong cycle. I've never cast magic on a full moon. I'll collect energy from the moon because it's a little bit more dilated. Or diluted. No, they're not spelled the same. That has a U in it. Yeah, diluted. It's diluted sunshine. But it's a little bit more of a celestial um, dark sprouts of sunlight, right? It's the light of the darkness. That, like, you know, the, the bringing of the light in the dark, if you will. You know, that kind of thing. Like the heck, the, like the dude from Hecuba. Or a heck. Hecabuck? That, that dude, right? That same dude. He wasn't the light, but he came from the darkness and was a bringer of the light. Therefore, he was the same with the man, right? But I personally use the sun. So I wouldn't even be thinking about using the moon. I know a lot of witches, like, get their power, or say that their power is, is strongest on the moon, which I would agree, because then it's like like a form of sunlight 24-7, for at least the time the moon is full. That's mainly the reason, because, like, you're reading light from the sun during the daytime and the nighttime. That makes the most sense, and that's probably why people even go out of their way to use moon magic, because it's like a double feature. You got, like, the sun is strongest and sunlight, even though it's at its weakest, you still got plenty of sunlight. You can still see in the dark. If it's a new moon, not so much. In the new moon, you gotta, like, search your way through the dark like you're supposed to. That's the last one. I hope this helps some people out. Either you likes it or you or you don't don't really matter none to me. Be okay. Although I do appreciate those who decide that like you know, there's a bit more appropriate nature. Like you know, I, I'm just saying like ever since like I stopped divinating and this constellating shit's been kicked on twenty four seven. It's been completely different because it's just like. Mm. Every morning I wake up. Give a little shake up. Here's another warning for you. I'm just saying, like, I, like I'm, just, I'm just letting y'all know what it is. Like, and mind you, this is my practices and what I've studied over the last um, 20 some odd years. I've been uh, a practitioner. 20 some odd years. Since I was a fucking teenager. And I'm still seeing people do ignorant shit. But, um, there are also people. Who are practitioners? Who don't even know how to draw the, down the moon? I'm, yeah, I, I just, I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyway, I'm gonna go like color my hair again because like it's getting dull, which is why I didn't want to show it because it's like actually like you can actually see some of the dye is out now and it's like yellow in places and it's just like. Then again, that's what you get for using semi. Like honestly, I should get my henna because I know I still got more. I need to redo that color anyway. It'd probably be good for that because I know I wouldn't have to worry about it. But that's beside me. Anyway, I hope this helps some people out, and I hope this helps you breathe a sigh of relief. I'm I'm still gonna be teaching y'all some shit. But it's going to be sporadic, and it's not necessarily based on time. It's just when it is time, because apparently it is time. And I think it's vitally important, you know, that, like, people understand it's not what you think it is. It's all a fucking illusion. Well, not what I'm telling you, but what you think it is. It's kind of like when, um, it's like you're sitting there listening to them people who would talk about, um, Hollywood celebrities and how they sacrifice people. Or AKA tragedy happens to people every day like it's supposed to. People think that like when someone's family member dies, oh, they must have sacrificed them. Not realizing, um, you ever think maybe that person didn't want to go? Well, they don't get to choose who sacrificed. Who said that they chose that shit at all? And even if they did, why do you keep believing it? Better yet, why do you keep being involved in some shit where you're learning more and more about this instead of realizing, oh, this is bad for me. I need to stop dealing with this. Pokemon is of the devil. I need to stop my children from watching Pokemon. That's what my dad did. When, like, when the church decided that shit was demonic and it's similar to dog fighting like Michael Vick's, 
Um, he completely cut us off of it. There was no explanation. There was no uh, us wa continuing to watch it and learning how it was evil or go. There, were, there really wasn't a YouTube back in the day either. So it wasn't like we could go to someone who claimed to um, want to dive into the information. Thank you, phone. And just completely subject the audience to more and more of the same shit under the illusion of, uh, oh, we're discovering the secrets of these people when in reality how their lives are coming out is like, that's not even necessary. Train's coming. Anyway, hope this helps you out. Y'all take it easy. Be safe. Stay suspicious. I love your face. If you don't agree with this video, though, that's fine. You don't have to.